How you doing? Good. How are you guys doing? Pretty, Pretty good. good. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. He yeah. escaped the coop and came to New York. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Laura, I'll start with you. Um, so, you know, obviously playing a real character uh, has its challenges. In terms of Tom, he has, you know, mountains of research to draw from, I imagine, less so for you. How do you approach the character? Um, I, I just put all my faith in the scripts, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I just know that we know this woman existed. We know she was living in Florence at that time. Um, but that's about as far as it goes. So it's, it's a brilliant opportunity for David and I now to um, just build this character. And, um, and we can kind of take her anywhere. So, and it's not, we don't feel suffocated by um, fact and history. And, and so we can go to each other and say, well, why don't we take her in this direction? And it's, it's you can, there's, it's an opportunity to say yes, let's do that. <laughs> so yeah, it's good. good. Yeah. I have with Laura. Oh, you obviously to kind of piggyback. You're playing a, obviously a historical figure. Um, what do you like the most about her, or what do you dislike the most about her when you did your research? Um, um, I, I, oh, there's, there's so many mysteries with her. So many, so many things that we don't know, I don't know, and you never quite know which string she's gonna, you know, twine next because. Twine? No, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she kind of. What I like about her is that, about her is that she has so many sides to her personality that. In, in any situation, she can utilize any of those traits. Her intelligence, her sexuality, her passion, her loyalty. So I like the fact that in different situations, she can turn the loyalty card and say, this is what I'm playing today, I'm being loyal to mine. Yeah. Well, I would say that I think the character is thought, like, the most complex, so complex and interesting character, I would say, for me, in the season. Yeah. Like, that's why we're lucky that yeah. hopefully it did just run to run. There's yeah. just so much depth there. Yeah. And in season two, it's even more than that. Yeah. Time. And it's really exciting. I kind of came up with, I kind of feel like this woman, something happened in her life ten years previously to when you met her in season one, which affected everything about who she is. And I think in that moment, there were two parts. What happened, happened. And I feel like she would have taken the other path if this thing hadn't happened but she was forced to start living the life that she's living now. And it goes against, actually, who she is. So she's had to learn that. And I think she was very closed and very shut off to emotion and love and, and all those different things. And what was interesting about season one was meeting Da Vinci. He opened a gate, which meant now she's completely conflicted because she's trying to avenge what happened and being really strong and almost quite... Masculine, and then she meets this guy, and she's like, Oh my god, that starts thinking with her heart, which is dangerous for her. Yeah. Do you think that's going to push uh, the qualities of the kind of femme fatale she is yeah. a little bit uh, more in the good path? A little bit? Yeah, like the second season, you see um, Lucretia put on the trousers and become, become someone who utilizes her intelligence and her strength more than her sexuality. In season one, she was using that because that was her tool, that was her weapon, whereas now she's left that behind. She's on her own journey. She's having to use other, other skills. Um, so certainly the femme fatale think is still kind of there, but it's been developed, and now she's she's able to be stronger this season. And also because they go back, but they go through yeah. some flashbacks of see some of the history that you drove your character yeah. from. Yeah, we go back and find out what's made her the woman that she is today, which was really interesting. So we kind of lost, yeah, just went back sort of seven, eight years. Greg, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Are you interviewing her? Sorry. <laughs> 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 I just, my favourite character. Thank you, Chef. Oh, thanks. Oh, You're my favourite character. Oh, wow. <laughs> you want a swap? <laughs> <laughs> Zero asked her, he's really the voice of the Da Vinci, and now with the Book of Leaves coming to plant his quest for the Book of Leaves because he wants to find out more about his mother. Yeah. How is that going to complicate your relationship further with him? 
you know what? In, in all in all honesty, very very early on, I'm, I'm sure I'm allowed to say it. we're like we're, we're okay. To, we're Dude, don't ask me. You're I'll allowed do that. to tell us anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> we no. got we got clearance from David. Don't that. do that. Yeah. He <laughs> said you could tell us anything. That's not true. Because I was told that last year, and I did some. Really <laughs> uh, the form right here, we signed off. On. That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> because of me. <laughs> no, not because of you. I remember last year I was told that there was a form that was sent out to all you guys. <laughs> you Whatever she said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, um, it's it, it, basically something happens that just Zoe's done. Like Zoe doesn't care about it. I mean, he cares about it, but nowhere near. He doesn't want to risk his life anymore for any crappy book he's never even seen. Um, but something happens really early on. Someone very close to him gets kidnapped, taken away, and he's forced into saying to Leo, "I'm going to come with you until we get someone back." And after that, I'm done. And that happens very, very early on. So then you've got another sort of nine episodes of kind of going to the new world, being strangers in this incredible place, but also kind of only being the two people that kind of really know each other in these dangerous situations. It's kind of a weird dynamic of being at loggerheads with someone, but having to get on mm. and having to pull together no matter what. It's, it's been really interesting. You two have a, like, an unconditional love for each other. Yeah, and it's interesting, you know, because David's so amazing. He's got clearly got lots and lots of history that, that, between Zoe and Leo. Stuff is alluded to this, this season, um, <laughs> but I know that they're still they're going to go back and we're going to discover just why Zoe follows him around, like and, you know why why he does have this love for him. It's cool, be interesting. So here you guys are in jeans and leather jackets and stuff like that. What's the challenges in filming a, a show that's not just a period show, but like such a distinct period of time, you know, with all these crazy costumes and inventions and stuff like that. What's that like? Yeah, it's awesome because, again, like, we, we didn't put any strict rules on it. So we are playing in the Renaissance era, but there's always an opportunity to um, break the rules and break the boundaries when it comes to design, design of character, design of set, design of everything. So, yeah, that we weren't stifled by really strict rules. Yeah. And it was, I always think that it's almost like a complete reflection of who Leonardo da Vinci was at our show because he was living out of his time. He was one of the characters in our show refers to Da Vinci as a dreamer. So he could dream up anything because he does. And it's kind of a nice reflection. We've got this principal character who's this, you know, Bohemian artist who's living out of his time and then the rest of the show kind of follows suit. So we can dream up an yeah. idea and the, 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 the I think, uh, Annie Simmons from last year, I was on it. All the characters almost have a kind of comic book, kind of superhero esque kind of look. We've all got a very distinguished look. Um, and it's fun. It beats putting on sort of slightly different jeans yeah. and a slightly different coloured top. Yeah. Right. Feeling kind of feeling like Greg, but looking and feeling a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. I'd rather put on a big Zorastic shoulder pad. Red jacket. Yeah, and, and then you instantly boots. feel like him as well, don't you? Yeah, it's just yeah. more fun. Yeah. It's, it's just dress up, you know. Right. Right. Fun. It helps, <laughs> helps everything. Yeah. Laura, your um, your character this uh, this season is going after her real father. While the bitches continue to go after his mother. Um, do you see any parallels between those journeys? Oh, definitely. We are on completely separate journeys. We're not together, but we are together. In that we, we both hold each other in each other's hearts all the way through these journeys, and you're right, they both have they both have such similarities with their relationship with their parents. And if if the two of them got just sat down together, had a cup of tea, and said, "Listen, this is the situation. This is what I've been through, and this is what I'm going through, and this is what I've had to do," then I think he would be the only person who would understand and say and not judge her and say, I completely understand, and actually, I'm probably the person who could help you and solve this for you and rescue you. So I'm excited for that moment when they come back together and they have an honest conversation about what the two of them have been through in their lives and not holding secrets back from each other, because they do. They hold secrets back from each other all the time. Ironically, they are probably the only two people, men and female, who could be honest and wouldn't judge. So that moment is coming in season two where you know, they are going to sit down and actually have an ass conversation about that stuff. <laughs> <laughs>
we are certainly, I think the main theme of this year is that we're all just off our, on our own journeys. We never forget each other, we are always in each other's minds, but we are certainly on, on our own journeys this year. Even so, geographically, we're really scattered. Yeah. But, and yeah, but it's still a winter twine. Yeah. Anything else you can tease from the next season? Uh, there's lots, Spoilers. lots of water. <laughs> <Lots>. <laughs> we've been in, we've been in Pinewood Studios underwater tank for too long. Yes, we got saving. We didn't. We got all the so wheel we prunes. Yeah, we had prunes. Um, that was really fun that day. Yeah, this. I think this year as well, like characters who you haven't seen together <coughs> get thrust together in crazy situations. That's been really fun. Obviously, we all know each other personally, but. Our characters haven't really got cross to, paths, yeah. yeah. Cross paths. yeah that so was, that's been fun. Sort yeah. of actually getting to work with other people. Yeah. So. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.